Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to make Play-Doh. Play-Doh is a great, easy beginning activity for children learning how to cook. It only requires a few ingredients. There's lots of sensory that comes with making Play-Doh and lots of math because it's all about measuring ingredients and also science because as we measure and mix ingredients, they change form. So Play-Doh is a great beginning for STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. It's very creative. You can create a lot of different things for it. It's super for sensory. For simple Play-Doh, all you need is flour, salt, water, and food coloring. And you don't even need that if you don't want to. A bowl, some measuring cup and a spoon to stir it with. The great thing about Play-Doh is that it can be made in a number of ways, and I'm gonna start with the simplest way. You can add oil and you can add cream of tartar, but personally, I think when you're making Play-Doh just for your own family, you don't need to add those ingredients. Um, so you're going to start by measuring your flour, and this is things your child should be doing and talking to them about measuring. Because even though they may not understand the concept right away, it's a way to help them learn and become familiar with these terms. So I have a one cup measuring. So I'm gonna measure one cup of flour into my bowl. And your child can be doing all of this, even a very young child. And talk to them, is flour soft or hard? Oh, what color is flour? White. Oh, mm, it feels so soft when I feel it. Oh, it's got a funny taste when it's not cooked. So now, can you pour the flour into the bowl? Oh, good job. So now you have the flour in the bowl. Then I'm going to take my salt, and we need a quarter of a cup of salt. So I'm going to get my measuring cup that's a quarter of a cup. And because a lot of children aren't being exposed to a lot of children right now, I might be turn-taking because this is an important social skill. So, oh, you poured the flour. It's my turn to pour the salt. So I'm going to pour the salt and I'm going to fill it up to the top of the measuring cup and I'm going to pour it into the flour. Oh, and now it's your turn. Stir it up, mix up the flour and the salt till it's all mixed well together. Stir, stir, stir. Oh, I'd like a turn. Let's count to five and then it will be my turn. One, two, three, four, five. My turn. And they pass the bowl. Now I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Your turn. This sort of um, counting really helps a child understand that it's my turn, now your turn, because they know there's a beginning and an end to a turn, and that's very important. So after we've mixed it all up, we're going to add the water. So I've added a cup of flour, a quarter of a cup of salt, and I'm going to add half a cup of water to start with. So I've got my water. I'm going to, oh, I've taken the wrong one. I took a three-quarter cup. I need a half cup. I'm going to take my half cup measuring, and I'm going to pour the water. If you put the water in a small jug, it makes it much easier for children to manage this on their own. And I'm going to pour it into the salt and flour, and I'm going to start to stir. So mix, mix, mix. One, two, three, four, five. Your turn. One, two, three, four, five. My turn. And I'm going to start to look at it coming together. If you make dough, then you'll recognize what you need to be looking for. I always start with a quarter of a cup of, I mean a half a cup of water because it's easier to add water than to take it away. Um, if you end up with it too wet, you really need to add more flour and salt. And I don't think you need more than half a cup. Now, if I wanted to do food coloring, 
and I had some at home, this would be the time to add it. So I have green. If you have several colors, ask your child to make a choice. Learning to make choices is great for young children. So I'm just going to add a really little bit of food coloring into my Play-Doh, and I'm going to keep mixing it up. I could have added that to my water if I'd wanted to, but in my case, I just wanted to do it after. And now I'm kneading it. And this is another word that children will not be familiar with, but the more often you use a term, the more often the quicker they will understand it, and you're really extending children's vocabulary. So besides the sensory aspect, this is a great math activity and a great literacy activity because you're building vocabulary. Okay, my Play-Doh's starting to turn green. It's a little sticky, but I'm going to keep kneading it. And kneading it means I'm pushing it, and folding it, and pushing it, and folding it, until it becomes very stretchy. So push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. Now I'm going to keep going, push and pull. And there's my Play-Doh. And it's a lovely color of green. Now. My child may just want to start by manipulating it. Once they become comfortable with this, and remember all children are at different stages. Some children will dive right into Play-Doh. They'll be pushing, pulling. Other children's finger will go like this. and I'll think, Because of different sensory needs. So just be patient with your child. Don't force their hand into it. Just allow them to go to it at their own comfort level. So look, I made a big ball. Oh, can you make a little ball? Oh, I made a little ball. This is the language that you're using with your child. Sit with them for a little while and play with them and use some language back and forth. This is a great way of improving communication skills. And then you could add some items. You could add um, a blunt knife. You could add some sticks, some cookie cutters, a rolling pin. We'll go into that later. But this is our first attempt at a live activity. And so one cup of flour, a quarter of a cup of salt, half a cup of water. Measure it with your child. Have them mix it food coloring if you want, and we'll get into some sensory, other sensory opportunities later on. But for now, there's our Play-Doh. When you're finished with playing with it for the day, if you put it into a baggie and zip it up, or an old yogurt container that's been cleaned out, or anything that keeps the air out, you can put it in the fridge, and this Play-Doh will last quite a little while. I usually only keep mine for a week just because of um, germs and mixing and things but and also because children love to make those things part of the experience of play-doh is making it so i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you try it with your child bye everyone